Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trading and online courses. Of course, the link is down below. So, this has been an absolutely awesome trading day. So both for Forex indices, stocks, and so on, there has been a lot of action in the market. And uh, well, some of it has been fairly predictable and some of it, some of it hasn't. So there's been a lot of news. For example, there's a Brexit situation, not very good for the, for the, for the, for the Great British Pound. And um, there has been the, basically the new, um, you can say new coronavirus, which is terrifying everybody because uh, we just received vaccines and so on. And now there's a new strain of the coronavirus. So that has had uh, a major effects also on the uh, on the markets, especially the British market and the Great, Great British Pound, because it affects specifically Great Britain. And then there is, of course, the anticipation of uh, the stimulus bill, which is, uh, as we understand it, is going to a vote um, tonight on Monday night, and uh, it will most likely pass. And it will most likely also be the the last major stimulus bill in uh, the next four years. That is what most news outlets are predicting, because Democrats will have um, control of the White House, and uh, the Senate will belong to the Republicans. Also, after January or the election in January, because they're predicted to win as well. And it will be not as easy to make major uh, stimulus packages as it has been in this um, Trump administration. But if you look at the Great British Pound and the uh, US dollar, we can see that we have had enormous movement. So but this fell catastrophically um, early in the session. So basically when Asia opened, this basically dropped like a rock. And we have had a movement of roughly 300 pips. That's roughly a movement of 2.29% in a day, up and down. We're in green at the moment, and um, that is basically what happened. We fell all the way down to 13.18, and then we rallied all the way up to 13.48. Um, if we look at the Fibonacci uh, projection, we can basically see why we ended right here. So we need... Uh, Sorry, need to do that again. Sorry. And there. So we can see why we ended right where we ended there. So this is uh, 1349 uh, or so on. So this is just at the, at the um, 61.8 Fibonacci pro projection. And we stopped there. And that's going to be really interesting whether or not we rally from here. Because we, if we break this level, then we're certainly going to test these previous highs. But we didn't. We actually ended right at this uh, Fibonacci 61.8 projection. And at this point, as long as we don't break that, then we basically can go and test it the 20 exponential again, or even, uh, even go lower. So it is fairly, uh, it is expected for the, um, the European Union and also uh, the British government to come to a conclusion um, on negotiation about about the trade deal. Um, they are they are both playing hard politics uh, at the moment, and and at some point they will basically come to an agreement because it will be catastrophic for both sides if there is no agreement. Um, so that will be really bullish for for uh, for the Great British Pound. At this point, I think that it will break to the upside. But at this point, if we don't break this, that means that we may go and test the 20 exponential again. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see that they are fairly bullish. So we need to put this on the daily. Uh, Stochastic, now the MACD is basically on the signal line. Uh, RSI is fairly bullish. The, the CCI is flat. So Stochastic is negative at this point, but it is actually turning around. And the uh, bullish value, we basically have room to the upside. But I think that we may see a pullback towards the 20 exponential if that seems to be 
um, supportive, then will go most likely go higher. This is a very, very bullish sign, to be fairly honest. So let's see what happens. We just need to know that down here, that is going to be the massive support. And um, this rally here is an indication that people are not willing to sell this. People are willing to buy this. Uh, it didn't help either that um, the, in the beginning of the session, the US dollar also started to appreciate. And the, at the end of the session, it started to depreciate. So that also had a major effect on this. So let's look at the US dollar and yen, because that is fairly visible here. So we rallied significantly to the upside across the 20 exponential, and uh, then we gave everything away again. So at this point, we have an inverted hammer here, and uh, this is not a good sign for the US dollar yen. Um, this will most likely go and test this trend line down here, um, probably tomorrow or on Wednesday session. That is almost guarantee at this point. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for, for this uh, currency pair. So at the moment, it is a it is not a real gamble to, to expect this to go all the way down to this um, to this trend line. If we rally again, then the 20 exponential will be significant resistant. And above that, we have the 50, and we didn't even get closer to 50 today. So uh, most likely, we'll go down towards the trend line. I would prefer a pullback towards the 20 in order to enter for a sell. So just keep that in mind. Euro US dollar, we broke down towards the 20 exponential and then we pulled back. So at this point, 20 exponential is basically the mar the um, is um, the bottom of this market. Uh, we can also see this was a previous area where we were standing still for a very long time. And this is tw uh, 12, 12. And that is, you can basically put a line there and say that this is basically the bottom of this market. Um, we are not overbought anymore. We're at 64. So there is room to the upside. If we fall again, then we have to break the 20 exponential. And that has proven to be uh, uh, very supported at this stage. Technical indicators are looking, well, they are not looking as bullish as they did yesterday, no, on Friday session. The MACD is still above the signal line. The RSI is bullish. The CCI is technically turning around, but it's still bullish. Uh, but the, you know, the stochastic is going um, bearish. And uh, the Bollinger Band, there's, yeah, there's a little bit of upside towards the over top of the Bollinger Band. But in order for us to go higher, we need to take out these previous highs, and then we'll target uh, a higher level. The entry point for this was basically the 20 exponential. To enter here at the moment is quite of a gamble because we can pull back towards the 20 ex exponential and then rally. So Aussie, US dollar, we broke down quite significantly all the way down to 0, uh, 74, 65, and then we rallied again. We are creating a uh, hammer here, and this is a fairly bullish shine. We are still overbought. We're at 71 in the RSI. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish. But this candlestick here and that we found major support down here is an indication that will most likely go higher. We could pull back towards the 20 and then rally from here, but this is a very bullish indication. There's no interest in basically selling this, basically buying this as low as possible is, is the best trade here. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we rallied all the way up towards the 50, 50 moving average and then broke then violently down. That was a fantastic entry point if you wanted to do to short this. So basically, sell it right here. Technical indicators are still very bullish, all of them. There's a lot of room to the upside. So I would not be surprised if we had another go at the 40 exponential, probably the 50. If you can get to the 50, then that is basically your entry point for a sell. Uh, no interest in basically uh, buying this. This is basically sell every rally. And this was a major rally to the upside, which should have been uh, sold into quite significantly. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button uh, to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.